This video is sponsored by eToro. Open your account today by clicking the link in the description. Key stock market metrics that every investor should know. Market capitalization, the total value of a company, multiplying the number of shares by the price of each share. Price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, the ratio of a company's market cap to its last year's earnings. Dividend yield, the sum of an annual dividend payment divided by the market cap of the company, expressed as a percentage. Earnings per share, EPS, last year's profit divided by the total number of shares. Price to book ratio, the ratio of a company's market cap to the value of its assets minus liabilities. Return on equity, last year's profit divided by equity, assets minus liabilities. Debt to equity ratio, a financial leverage ratio that compares a company's total debt to its total equity to indicate exposure to leverage. Return on assets, last year's profit divided by the total value of all assets. Current ratio, a liquidity ratio that measures a company's ability to pay its short-term obligations with its short-term assets. Short-term assets divided by short-term liabilities. Quick ratio, similar to current ratio, but inventory is discounted from current assets to assess liquidity more harshly. Gross margin, the ratio of gross profits to total revenue, the percentage of revenue remaining after deducting the cost of goods sold. Operating margin, the ratio of operating income to total revenue, the percentage of revenue remaining after deducting all operating expenses. Net profit margin, the ratio of net profit to total revenue as a percentage. Price to earnings to growth ratio, PEG, the ratio of a company's PE ratio to its expected earnings growth rate. Free cash flow, the cash generated by a company's operations after accounting for capital expenditures. Inventory turnover ratio, a measure of how quickly a company sells its inventory, calculated by dividing the cost of goods sold by average inventory value. Price to free cash flow ratio, the ratio of a company's current market cap to its free cash flow. Now that you know the most important definitions that will arise when you analyze a stock, you can begin to gain a deeper understanding in the companies that you put your money into.